Even while I dreamed, I prayed that what I saw was only fear and no foretelling. For I saw the last known landscape destroyed for the sake of the objective. The soil bulldozed, the rock blasted. Those who had wanted to go home would never get there now. I saw the forest reduced to stumps and gullies. I saw the poisoned river, the mountain cast into the valley. I came to the city that nobody recognized because it looked like every other city. Men and women and children now pursued the objective as if nobody ever had pursued it before. The once enslaved, the once oppressed were now free to sell themselves to the highest bidder and to enter the best paying prisons in pursuit of the objective which was the destruction of all enemies, which was the destruction of all obstacles, which was to clear the way to victory, which was to clear the way to self-creation from which nobody who ever wanted to go home would ever get there now. For every remembered place had been displaced, every love unloved, every vow unsworn, to make way for the passage of the crowd, of the individuated, the autonomous, the self-actuated, the homeless, with their many eyes opened only toward the objective, which they did not yet perceive in the far distance, having never known where they were going, having never known where they came from. <laughs> 